Mr. Ainde, we have seen pictures in the course of the week of people standing on empty plots and saying, my house was here. Lagos State demolished it, so I am now homeless. Are you saying that those pictures were lying or those people were lying? No, did they show you pictures of what building was there before the demolition? Before, before they were now uh, standing okay, on that okay. Okay. Can, can we just go to one of the residents? Let's because that's why I wanted to, to show you what okay. the before place that. looks like um, on satellite. Mrs. Omowale Oshobe. The question I asked was when I, we, we, on Saturday that we were rendered homeless. The question I asked them when we were in the meeting was, Sir, were, are you aware that many of us were thrown outside unaware? And he said he didn't believe that people are still living there. That is still the answer. Is okay, but wait, wait. Were you given notice before Saturday? There was no pre notice. Not at all over the years. There was no pre notice. Can we? What we had that very question is important. Sorry. 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 Over the Excuse years. Me. Okay. Sorry. Let's let's start with. You live in Badia. Very well. What kind of property were you living in? We have a block house in that very place that was that, that was demolished. So Part of that it. house where you were living in is a fit and proper place for you to live, right? It's a proper house. Is it brick and block and everything? Or is it just uh, wood? My structure? own house that I live in, the yes. house that I live in is proper house. Okay. Do now, you have C and O for the property? No. Okay. Now but we have been there for we have been there for as far back as we, we went there since nineteen seventy three. That was my mother built house in that very place where we have national estate now. That was where we were moved. Okay. When now. they were about to use national estate. And when they were about to to the use the it. area mm -hmm. for national arts theatre. So on the 23rd of February, if that is the date when this happened, on the 23rd of February, tell us what happened. Did you did, did the house just disappear or what happened? Tell us the story, what you experienced on what, that day. What I experienced was, I was in the house. Okay. You know, when I heard people shouting that caterpillars were breaking house, by the time I came out, they have already gotten to us. We were not able to bring anything out of the place. So tell us, you were there and they nearly killed you. Exactly what happened? Tell us bit by bit by bit, everything as it happened. We that. were inside the house okay. on that very Saturday morning. Yes. So we heard people shouting outside yeah. that there's caterpillar. And there were a lot of um, military men there with their vehicles. So... Some boys were about even, you know, getting inside to get some of their things. But everybody was, uh, uh, everybody was afraid of the caterpillar because you cannot just, you can't see death coming towards you and then you, you walk towards it. So everybody started running. So by the time I came out, you know, I called my, I, when I came out, I rushed back inside to call my food. Come and see what is happening. The caterpillar was already in our place. Was anybody injured? Did they evacuate everybody? Nobody was injured because we were running. So you didn't get a chance to take anything it out It was of after the, the demolition, we now went back, we were picking some things. So okay. they destroyed okay. the property that you were living in with all the things that was in there. That was why when the, when the newsmen came, I took them to most of the areas. And I took them to go and see what was happening. And there was even a woman that delivered that very day. That we have to go and look for where, we have, we have to go and look for where she will stay with her new baby. Okay. Mr. Inde, okay. yes, please. I want your response to that. Yeah, uh, brick and mortar broken down, no notice. There, there, were, no, there were notices served. I, okay. I like the question you asked last because you said, Were there any forms of notices over the years? Now, since 2009, the government had shown commitment, the governor had gone there to speak with them. I like to ask, as of 2005, when the initial plan was going on. And as at the time the governor visited in 2009, that place had no buildings. <laughs> if, if truly, as he said, they were expecting 
Honourable the federal commissioner, are you Wait saying that the lady here, Mrs. Uh, uh, Bimbo, Bimbo or Leo Shobe, would you say that she was hallucinating? She didn't have a property that she lived in. You know, you know what is it? What is important to me yes. as a commissioner for fiscal planning and urban development? I like to see the building in my database. Because as of 2005, there was no building there. So if anyone was going to put up a building, there was supposed to have been a process. About 2005? Yes. There was no building. When yes. did you build your house? We have been there for as far back as 1973. Uh, which I would like you to go in there and verify. No, it's, it's a, this is shocking, quite frankly. This is shocking because on the one hand, the Honorable Commissioner said at the start of this program that he was a member of a committee, which I was also a member, the committee that was set up by the federal government to prepare an urban renewal plan for Badia. Uh, Monarch consultant handled that. Everybody knows him. He's still alive and can be brought in here. And they documented house to house. As you know, If I knew that this was about showing pictures, this is a refuse dump. This is not Badia. If I knew this was about showing pictures, I will bring you images. We have videos, street by street videos, we have documented over the years of this community. That show we show you markers that will let you know that this is bad here. This is somebody showing you a refuse dump. This could jolly well be the the Ojota refuse dump. So this is really disingenuous. But to come back to the point, it is unbelievable. The commissioner just told you that he was a member of a committee to do urban renewal. Was it to do urban renewal for the dustbin? No, obviously. It was to do urban renewal for the people of Badia, the people who lived there, who the federal government moved to that land. Now, by the way, madam, you asked a question earlier and made a comment, which is not actually true. Under the Land Use Act, the federal government has the powers to also expropriate land for its own use. As you know, the Federation of Nigeria is comprised of states. So the federal government is, a, is the federal government. They have the authority to acquire land for their own purposes. Otherwise, the federal government will not be able to execute any project. No, no, sir. no, 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 I no, no, agree with you there. If no. I may finish, if I may finish. Mr. Moka, the commissioner yes. said that it is the state that will now give yeah, the, no, land the, the land to the land. No, 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 please. Uh, land 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 you know, madam, I'm a lawyer. The land that, I'm a lawyer. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me finish and then maybe you can respond, sir. The point I'm making is that the Land Use Act is the Land Use Act. It was written in 1978. I didn't write it. That's what is there. So after the program, feel free, and I'm sure the viewers who are the act, uh, open up the act and see what it says. The federal government of Nigeria enacted the Land Use Act, by the way. It could not have made a Land Use Act and surrendered its own authority to take land for its own use to state governments. That's not, it's a federation. It's a federal system of government we run. Oh, the land so the, po the point is, is the state governors. No, you see, the land is vested in state governors, except those that the federal government has acquired for its own purposes, period. That authority of the federal government transcends the powers of the state to, of the governor to control land use. Sir, yes, the point is that that land belongs to the federal government. That's been admitted so far. And the federal government moved these people from Oluwale village to their current homes. And when the legal segment says that they gave notice, that is, that is utterly untrue. They gave no notice at all. As a matter of fact, at the meeting that they held, the same commissioners <laughs> were present at that meeting with the people there. They told them that the, the, the reason they didn't, in fact, give them any notice was because they were concerned that Sarah could intervene, like we did in Macau. Were you in that meeting? No, no. It, it was reported to me by... That was a by, wrong report. You see, that was I, a I'm wrong sorry, report. Sir. But the point is that they were not given any notice. That, if, let me tell you what happened. The Commissioner of Agriculture, on Wednesday, last week, uh, led a team from the Ministry of Housing to the community. They went there and met with Bale Medoye. They gave Bale Medoye a notice that was dated February 13th. He signed for the notice, and then they took him, with the team that came, to the Ojora, Ojora's palace, and made the Bale Medoye hand the notice to the Ojora, and then at the end of a short meeting, they dispersed. Now, from those who read the notice, the Medoye and his secretary, they were the ones who mentioned to the community that, look, the government people came in on Wednesday. That's the 20th of February. By th Three days later, uh, the bulldozers came in. You, 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 yes, but okay. on, on Thursday, yes, we, if you, you want to. Uh, we yes. have to manage right. our time, if sure. you don't mind. Now, my issue now is, Mr. Jeje, Lagos State said they were going to relocate these people. 
how come they didn't relocate them before they went and demolished their houses? 